Okay, Lovable may have just released its biggest update ever. This is Lovable Cloud. And what Lovable Cloud is, is essentially Lovable's take of having its own built-in database right inside of Lovable, which means that you never need to leave the platform. This makes things like managing users, saving data, connecting to other systems and APIs like, like OpenAI seamless through the backend of Lovable. And so I'm gonna show you exactly how to take advantage of Lovable Cloud in your own application in the next five minutes. So let's start with building a quick little test project here. I'm going to switch over. Okay, so I'm going to build for the sake of this, a habit tracker that manages, tracks daily habits. Okay, we're gonna be pretty basic here. Okay, let's let this run. Obviously this is not a particularly good prompt, but so you can see it's starting to cook here. Now, when, while it's waiting, I'm going to show you a few different new things that come with Lovable Cloud. Alongside Lovable Cloud, we also have speed, security, code, and analytics as new options, or some of them are new options. So I'll show you all those as well as how to utilize Lovable Cloud. So this is taking some time to, to load here. We'll let this build. Okay, so we have our habit tracker here. Obviously, it's not looking great, but this isn't the point. The point is to actually use Lovable Cloud. So in order to do this, we're gonna go into here and we're gonna click Enable Cloud, and you'll see that is now going to enable our Lovable Cloud here. And we're gonna click Allow. Okay, so now we have Lovable Cloud in. And we can see we have a few things. We have the overview, which will show us everything from the database, the users, secrets, all this stuff. We have a detailed view of the database is where the tables will live once we have them. Users, as far as you know, signups, any actual user data. Storage, which includes like images and files. Edge functions, which would be like backend you know, logic and code. Secrets would be any API keys and logs would just be any logs to track what's going on in our backend. So all this now is controlled through a lovable cloud. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to tell it to set up the required tables in Lovable Cloud, Lovable in database for our app. Also have it connect to the front end. And so you can see now Lovable will speak directly to Lovable Cloud, making this super easy to set up our database. Click allow here. Okay, so now we can see that we have our database tables here. So it's created habit completions, habit and profiles, which is used for the users. And if we go to the preview, it now looks like it also has created some auth. So we're gonna go and we'll sign up. Let's use a test here. Okay, perfect. So now you can see it's also cleared the database for us, which is really convenient. And so I'm gonna go in and let's add our first habit. So we'll do morning stretching. Sure, we'll use this and add this. And just like that, we'll do one more workout. Okay, awesome. So we have this, and if we go check our database here, we'll go to habits, and you can see, just like this, there it is. We have our two items. Now let's just play around and see if we can also show it when it's completed. Oh, there it is. Oh wow, and that even has a little cool little animation done for us. And if we go here to habits completed, it looks like just like that, we have them done already. And we can take a look at the role of security policies, which it makes actually really nice to be able to preview all of them. So you can kind of see, you know, different user IDs that are being pulled for checking to make sure it's the right user. Let's make this a little bit more sophisticated. So we also have our user here using the email that we used. Let's go ahead and add an edge function. So let's tell it to, let's see, let me think of something. Use open, use AI to suggest other habits based on the ones I've added. Make, add three to five suggestions each day in a, let's say, temporary design state. Okay, so this should try to create a edge function, we'll see. And also you can see that it went ahead and, and added uh, Gemini as uh, it seems like it's built in right now to Lovable. Um, and so we don't even need to handle this. It's right now 
approved automatically. And so this is already going to be built into our app. You can see, I think it's going to start some edge functions here. Let's take a look. Okay, awesome. So now we have the suggest habits here. And you can see we also have our suggested habits that has created. We can go ahead and add these just like that. It gets added to our to-do list, which is awesome. I can also click get new suggestions and it generates even more. So here we can look at our edge function and see it's been running successfully. We can take a look at the logs here of the edge function and we can see that it's being working correctly and being booted up. And we also have our lovable, I believe this is probably the Gemini API key that's adding for us automatically. And so literally every single thing I just did, I literally did not need to leave lovable. It connected the backend, the database, the edge functions, even connected Gem to Gemini or AI for the suggestions. And this took a total of, wait, our first prompt was at 12.36. It's now 12.45, 12.48. So about less than, you know, a little over 10 minutes to build. And that was probably me taking my time. So I think that's pretty, speaks to the power of where we're at right now in the building process and just how easy it has become to build something. And we can go ahead and actually preview this. I'm not going to go through and sign up again, but you get the point. So I, I suggest everybody takes advantage of this. It looks like they're also running a free AI until October 5th. So it gives you a couple days to play around with this. And if you enjoyed this, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.